Hi. Well, I started this video today take, trying to take a picture, which I was trying to do a video. Anyway, I'm back. I wanted to share um, two paint sets that I've got. Um, the first being this one, which is the Colaro Fine Tech. These are the golds and silvers. And these I've got on Amazon. I will link both sets down below. These were, um, hang on, I'll just get my iPad. These are the Colaro Fine Tech M600 Artist Mica Watercolor Pearl and Shimmer Pearl Paint set of six. They are £24.56 on Amazon at the moment. Um, they were actually a gift. So I'd love to get the other set as well. They do um, different colours, but I've got this gold and silver because I like that. And the next one, next set I want to show you, which I absolutely love, are these... Tokyo, hang on, let's put that up there so you can see. These are the Tokyo Finds Galaxies Pearlized Essence. There's 12 colours in there. Um, the names are like in poor language, so I'm not going to go through the colours, but I want to show you. Now I've got them on AliExpress. Like at the moment, they they're ten pound six p for the set, and I think they're absolutely worth it. They are really gorgeous. Right. So what I want to do is I want to add some water to these paints, and I'm gonna swatch them. Let me just take them out. Oh, you get a little chart in that one. Um, let's open this. Right. Do these come off? Oh yeah, they do. They actually come off. So you can replace them. Right, so I've got a little pipette here with some water. I just like to just dab a little bit of water. It just allows them to soak and pick up more, just a bit more colour while they're sitting. Right, so I'm going to do the same for the other set. I'm just going to put that to one side a minute. Get me other set. Now I've used this, so it looks a little bit worse for, well, not worse for wear, but it comes with one of these cheap, um, that's unscrewed itself, one of these cheaper um water pens um i just keep that in there i don't i don't use that one i use normal brushes so let's just get these a little bit wet let's get some more water i find if you just pre-wet and then they can soak in a little bit and you get a nice better colour than just dipping your brush straight into them. A nice richer colour. And that's what you want out of your paints. That pink needs a little bit more. These are lovely colours though. Um, right, let's leave that off to the side a minute, that one. Now I've just got some scrappy watercolour paper. This is the Crawford and Black. Um, 230 GSM acid tray. Um, I'm just going to use a piece of this just so I can show you. So, um, where are we near? Right, if I put these to one side here, then I'll show you the colours. I'll use a bigger brush. Right, this is the silver. Let's just Dub that in a bit, put some colour up on it. 
like this, see if this comes out. Oh, look at that. Right, I'll hold it up in a sec. You probably won't see the silver in this light very much. But it is a nice... Oh, it is lovely. Um, I can't even see my... There. It is lovely. I should have got a little bit of black card, but I don't think I've got any in here. Um, I haven't got any any at all if I anything that I could swatch it on. Mm, only that. No. There's I could do it on the back of that. I've just got this all wet now. Hang on a sec. Let me just do a little a little bit on that. Just so you can see. Oh no, it's not sticking to it because it's like plastic. Okay, well, don't worry about that then. We won't do it on black card. Um, we'll just do it on the white. This hasn't got anything black on it, has it? No. And I don't know where my black card is. I've got tons of it. just don't know where it is. Anyway, so we've got that one down, which is the silver. Then we've got, see, they've, they've dried up already. This is what happens a little water and then they dry right right this is like a very pale gold this one here I like I like the design of these and I like that you can pull up the pans as well I like um, that they've got this pattern in them as well Right, let's try this one. Yeah, it's, it's like a very light gold. That's nice, actually. It's got to dry, though. So maybe I'll just do some swatches and I'll show you them as they're drying. Right, this is another gold, but it's a lot more gold. Let's try this one here. Yeah, this is more like a bright gold. I think I'm in shot, am I? Yeah. Trouble when you make videos, you've got to keep yourself in shot. You don't know where you are in it. Oh, I'm going into that one now. No, that's fine. This one's a darker gold. This one, I would say, would be like a true gold, this one. Let's see. Put that under there. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, that is lovely. It's it's really shimmering around as well. And I've laid it down. Oh, it's all lovely and shimmery over there. Right, and this one, I would say this would be like um, a copper. I'm not sure. Yeah like a coppery gold right and then the last one see the last one Let's mix that colour in well is this one no oh, it's very watered I put too much water in that thing let's get some colour on there it's very similar to that one it's just a touch darker now I'm pulling that colour all over the place here. I'll give that a second. I might have to. Right, they're all still wet. They're all still pretty wet. So we'll just carry on. So there's them ones done. Let me leave them over there to dry. I'll put that under there then. That'll be fine. Now let me bring these ones round. I don't know if I can put them there so you can see them, but no, because the paper would be too in the way. If I leave them just to that side. Um, right, we'll start off with the light on. This is more 
this is not silver this is like an off-white this one right so we'll do it there there we go okay you can see that see they're really lovely they're really pigmented and opaque right and then we'll do the yellow Let's just swash that around a bit I like them when they're nice and creamy like that. There we go. Right, I'll wait for them to dry and then I'll hold them up. It'll be better than them dripping all over the place. Right, and then we've got a nice gold here. Let's get some of that on there. And I'm dragging it off the page here. Right, because it's wet, and we'll leave that to dry. This is not an, like a comparison against the others. It's just that I thought, as they're both watercolor, very um, micro. Um, they've got a lot of micro in them, and shimmer, and they they're sort of the same sort of on the same principle. Um, I thought I'd share them, you know, being as they're the same sort of colour verification, apart from like this has got more colours in. That's beautiful, that is. Look at that, it's like a copper. Um, I just wanted to show you because these are actually my favourite watercolours at the moment. And. Um, I never see them on YouTube. I was just searching AliExpress, I think, for some paintbrushes and I'd see them. And I thought, oh, wow, they're nice. Um, they do take a while to come. They can take, I think these took me a month or something to come. I've only had them a little while. Um, which ones did I just do? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I've got this one today. This is like um, a very rich reddish um, well, it's like that colour but it's deeper deeper like it's a bit lovely on like steampunk cards and that now I'm putting it on too thick but I want it to dry like that should have got my um dryer really my t heat tool right um i'm gonna go on to the purple now this purple's got a lovely sparkle in it as well i think when these paints do run out i will actually purchase some more because the colors are gorgeous Trying to do it thicker in some places, but it's hard when you're trying to rush around. Um, let's do this pink. I say pink. It is well. It is pink. So, it's taking it to the edge. Let me. Let me try and. Uh, And see how it would go anyway if it had like two layers on it and my water's getting very murky now and there's this blue now I was talking about this blue in my in my last video because I made the plaque um let me just show you is it on here no I've moved it haven't I um I made the plaque in my last video um it's a craft stash and what was it craft stash and ebay was it whole no craft stash and and visible image hole. you'll see the plaque on there and i actually put in some of these colors on the plaque and oh my god this blue is gorgeous well, that all the colours are, but this blue is like um, 
If you like blue and you like sky blue with a lot of shimmer in it, um, it's gorgeous. Right, green. Let's do a bit of that. There we go. And what are we on now? There's a dark grey. I really like this next colour. I think it's this one. Or was it that one? I think it's this one I like. It's like um, a very dark emerald type of green, you know. Right, let's try this one. There we go. Right, I'm hoping these dry. The top ones have my water at the moment. Let me show you my water pot. Look at that. <laughs> That's all the all the micro powder in them. Right, and then we've got a black. Which I don't think I've used actually. Because I've just used some of the other colours. So let's swirl that round a bit. And then oh it's grey. Okay. It's like a charcoal grey. Oh, you could say it was black if you painted it a few times, yeah. More of a charcoal dark charcoal grey. Right, so we've done that. Put my paint brushes over there. So this is what it looks like in the palette. They're really lovely colours and that's what it looks like on the, there, the Tokyo Fine Galaxy. Sorry about the lighting. It's really nice. Let me show you, try and show you close up without spilling paint everywhere. Really nice paints so though they are. So you get a mix, you've got everything in there, you've got your, um, You've got your copper colours, your golds, you've got a nice yellow, you've got a white, you've got your pink, your purple, that beautiful blue, um, two lots of greens and like that charcoal, um, which is actually going black now. So if there was two layers on there, it would actually turn into black. Um, they are drying a little bit. So let me hold these up. The first lot here are the fine tech ones so these ones here are the fine tech the expensive proper paints they're still kind of wet but they are so sparkly but there's not a lot of difference in the other ones really right and now we move on to the others remember they are soaking wet still Um, let me get it this way around. Um, I don't know how to pause this video because I'd go and I'd go and dry them. Otherwise, but when they dry, they are lovely. Maybe if I put the phone on for a second, but I don't know what the time is on this video. So. I could put that on, but nice. They are drying round the edges. You can see round the edges. Have a look round the edge. See on the corners. And when they're dry, they're so sparkly. You see it in tiny places. It seems to be sitting on this paper. There, you see, you see that blue. See how sparkly it is. Well, it's dry. It's not dry up there, but it's drying. So, and they're the the other ones. They've dried quicker. Let me go turn this way. I know I'm going on and on and on, but I really do love these paints. I do appreciate these paints because they're so pretty with all the different colours. Um, they're the expensive ones there. These are the cheaper ones. And they, I mean, the pigment in them is just 
amazing. So I would recommend you pick them up. Um, yeah, these these ones are dry. That's that yellow is nearly dry. The yellow there, apart from the corners of it, um, the white is dry as well. Um, this is dry just a little bit there. The pink only slightly, just here. Um, the purple is sort of trying to dry in the middle. <laughs> I don't know why it's drying in the middle. This, let me try and turn it. The green's nearly dry. On black paper they look nice as well. Um, where did I put that plaque? Give me one second. Here's the plaque. <sighs> there, and I've done the background in that in them paints, in the Mali Express paints, and it is really sparkling, but you can't see it unless you catch it in a certain light. I did her hair and I done the background in it as well and then I I done some spray in the background as well um just normal sprays not alcohol inks you know just normal acrylic sprays so I thought I'd come on and share them oh, I'm drying a bit more I'm drying a bit better now and um Thought you might like to see those and so on to the next video i guess okay bye for now